Hi, I'm Lucy and this is Project 2 Commerce from CS50's web programming with Python and JavaScript. In this project, I created an eBay-like e-commerce auction website and I'm going to show you how it works. This application is built using Django and the website is made up of five different models. We have user, category, listing, bid and finally comment. The default route of the web application is this active listings page. This page shows all current active listings and for each listing we can see its title, its current price, number of bids, description and also the listing image. For listings that weren't provided with an image we show this placeholder image. To create a new auction listing the user will need to click the create new listing link at the top of the page. Here, the user will need to fill the form in. However, image URL and category are optional fields. When the user clicks save, this will add the new auction listing into the database and the user will be taken to the new listing page. Clicking on the categories link at the top of the page takes the user to a list of all categories on the website. If you click any of these links, it will show you all active listings within that category. Clicking on a listing takes the user to that listings page. Here we can add the listing to the user's watch list by clicking this button. And once the listing is in the watch list, we can then click this button to remove it from the watch list. We can also make a bid on the current item. Here we can see that the current price is £25, so our bid must be greater than this value. If I try to make a bid less than £25, I am presented with an error. If I instead bid with £26, I'm able to paste my bid successfully and the page is updated to tell me that my bid is the highest bid on this item. The page also shows any comments related to the listing. When I click add comment, it will successfully add my comment that I just wrote. If I go to the page of a listing that I created, you'll see that I'm also able to close the auction. By clicking this button, it will successfully close the auction and now we can see that that listing is no longer on the active listings page. If I log in as Sophie, who is the user that has the highest bid, you will see that on the listing page for this item, it tells the user Sophie that they have won this auction. There is no longer the ability to add a bid as this auction is now closed and there's some extra styling on the page to let the user know this information. If a user who is not logged in views any listing page, they are not able to place a bid or add a comment, but they are still able to see all the information. Logged in users also have access to a watch list page. This shows all listings that the user has added to their watch list using the button on the listing page. Clicking on any of these listings takes the user to that listings page. I've also added some extra functionality to allow the user to remove the listing from their watch list from this page. I'm also going to show you how to successfully add to the watch list. With this particular item, you can see that I'm also getting a bit of extra information to tell me that I am currently winning this auction. The logged in user, Lucy, is a super user. So this means that she is able to access the Django admin interface and is able to view, add, edit and delete any bids, categories, comments, listings or users. For example, here I could add a new category.